In this video, I am going to explain why membrane inside cranium is so important and how it continues to all over the body. Okay, this is a model of head. If I remove this, the brain shows up. This orange t-shirt is brain. This wrap represents membrane inside of cranium. There are three layers on the membranes. The outermost membrane is dura matter. The second layer is arachnoid matter. And third layer is pia matter. This wrap represents dura matter. This is the outermost membrane. And Dura matter covers the whole surface inside of cranium. So if I move the brain, this membrane here covers this. And if I look, this surface, Dura covers the whole surface of inside of cranium. That sounds very important, right? I explained how important it is for head for another video, so please check that out. Now, how come this membranous connection can affect whole body? Let me explain that. Here is brain. What is the tissue from brain here coming from the brain and head? What is this tissue? This is spinal cord, right? Brain and spinal cord. Then, the membrane continues as well. You know, spinal cord is extension from the brain. And this membranous connection continues. Okay, this is very important. Brain, dura mater. Spinal cord, and there's membrane around spinal cord. Okay, now how come it can affect other places? Okay, this is the spine model. This is occiput, this is head, and there is a spinal cord inside of the spines, right? This is brain, the membrane is around brain, it goes to spinal cord. Spinal cord is surrounded by membrane. Then there is peripheral nervous system from spinal cord. You know, then this peripheral nervous system is covered by membrane. Right? So, brain, membrane, spinal cord, membrane, peripheral nervous system, membrane. Okay? This is all connected. So, what happens if uh, brain dura matter gets tight? It puts membranous nose connection this way, not this much, this is exaggeration. Putting this way, the tension is going this way, right? Like this. Now, spinal cord is put this way, tiny bit, not this much. Then, peripheral nervous system takes tension, then boom, 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 right? So, there's all connected. That's why if dura gets tight, that can affect cervical spine and other related tissue. In this case, maybe the muscles around cervical spines. I will say that again. Dura matter. Gets tight, boom. The tension goes to spinal cord inside. Then this tension can go to peripheral nervous system. That's why tight dura can create tight cervical movement. Okay, of course, this connection can go to thoracic spines and lumbar spines because there is peripheral nervous systems from thoracic spines and lumbar spine. And one more thing, these nerve roots go to autonomic nervous system, especially sympathetic nervous system for the internal organs. Again, if dura gets tight, the tension can go through the spinal cord to the peripheral nervous system. Then this tension can reach to internal organs. Then follow this connection, then that can inhibit muscles around internal organs, like psoas, like transverse abdominis, like diaphragm. These internal 
Muscle tightness can be from dura mater as well. Boom, 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 right? I'm not saying the tightness around the core and spines are always from the dura mater. This is not the golden rule. The tightness can be from other causes, like just tight spines, tight ligament, tight muscle, or internal organ is not moving well. However, this membranous connection can create tightness around lumbar and thoracic spines because of the membranous connection. I have to keep saying that the tightness around the joint can be from any reasons. Tight bone, tight joint, tight muscle. I'm just amazed how nervous tissues membrane can affect the tightness around joint. Of course, this tightness can affect lumbar and sacrum because sacrum is part of axial skeleton, right? Uh, spinal cord, spinal cord, spinal cord. Then, you know, it can reach to sacrum. So sacrum and head are connected through the dura. Of course, if I follow the bone, I can reach to the head, but there is a membrane inside of the spine. I just love this. I am just so fascinated from this dural membranous connection. Again, I use brain model. There is brain, dura mater, the spinal cord is extension from brain, spinal cord is surrounded by membrane, there's peripheral nervous system from spinal cord. So if you follow this membranous connection, you can go anywhere. Again, of course, the tight joint can be from many causes like tight ligament, tight muscle, the tight internal organs. Many reasons can create tight joint and tight muscles. However, I love this dural connection. If you liked today's video, please hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. See you next video.